What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the I Formation Podcast here with Ben Hall, my guy, Leron McLean. And today we have a special guest. Uh, before we introduce a guest, how you doing today, Leron? Man, I'm good. I'm good. Slow motion, man. Coming off a great weekend of football, man. Glad to have our guests on this morning, man, and uh, getting this thing rolling, man. Remember, man, to like, subscribe to, you know, send our YouTube channel, man. Follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that, man. We're getting better with time, baby. Go ahead, yes, baby. sir. Um, now, to welcome on our guests, we are super excited. One of our biggest guests yet, Super Bowl champion Kyle Arrington. How are you doing today, Kyle? Uh, everything, everything the wrong said. Everything he said. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm doing well, doing well, man. You know, uh, always grateful for another another day to get it right. You know, one thing um, I guess I like to say. So, grateful for that. Grateful for you guys having me on today. Talk, uh, yeah, talk a little, talk a little football. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To start. I'll ask, you know, how have the past, you know, few months been? I've seen on Instagram some stuff that you're doing, but I'll let you kind of explain a little bit of that with uh, the commanders and stuff like that. So how have the mm -hmm. past few weeks and months been for you? Uh, I guess the uh, best way to sum it up is I, I feel like I was less busy just playing football. Uh, but no, nah, I mean, you know, I think the one thing my wife, like I said, you know, you book busy and blessed. So I uh, can't, you know, um, never, never be mad at that. So since, you know, since retiring, ah. Uh, you know, at this point in my life, I guess I just never say never and had the opportunity to put out a children's book. Never thought I'd be an author. Uh, had an opportunity to uh, uh, star in a film on actually on Amazon as well. Um, was actually recognized for for a best supporting role for that also. So uh, I, I don't know who they had to pay for that. But uh, uh, what, what else going on? You know, me and my wife started started a nonprofit doing great things in the community. I um, have my own fitness brand. Uh, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, and I'm playing the majority of New England and Baltimore, but had an opportunity to come on the uh, Commanders. You know, grew up in um, right out, you know, right outside of uh, mm -hmm. know, FedEx and everything. You know, Prince George's County. So, um, had a, had an opportunity to kind of have a, a some, you know, some leadership leadership role there. You know, with the team, um, going post game stuff for the team now. So, uh, so like, it's it's been it's been a lot, been a lot going on. Been uh been uh, been blessed. I've been blessed though. So uh, can't can't complain. Yeah, uh, you just kind of mentioned, you know, being from the PG County area. I'm from Baltimore, from Maryland. So I wanted to ask this before. Um, uh -oh. Do you think do you think the DMV area produces the best athletes? Because that's the argument. There's Texas, California, but the DMV, like every year, in terms of football, we'll keep it to football. It's like every year the top recruits are coming from the DMV, going down to Alabama. And Loxley's now trying to get them to go to Maryland. But do you think the DMV area produces the best football athletes? I would say the DMV has um... – been underrated for for a while for quite some time and now i, I think it's uh kind of kind of getting out there as far as uh just the type of talent pool that that it has and so so yeah i mean as far as the, the best it's up there it's up there you know don't, don't get me wrong you know like you know you got florida you got texas you got you know places where you could you know with the weather permits them to play you know you know year round and exposure and things like that also uh, helps them in that regard. So, uh, but the DMV man definitely has his, uh, has a shared talent. It's getting um, getting more widely recognized. I, I will say, as far as far as football is concerned, you can go, Leron. Indeed. Hey man, just uh, I know you touched on it a little bit, but what was what was what was one of your hardest, you know, what I'm saying transitions you had, you know, what I'm saying from leaving football. You know, we've been playing since we was, you know, what I'm saying young, young boys and everything. Now that it's gone. You know what I'm saying? How, how was that? How was that, you know, overall mentally uh transition for you? I know I struggled a little bit, you know what I'm saying, uh when I retired, you know what I'm saying, but back on track now. But how was it for you? Um, you know, I probably would say something that may be similar and 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 you know, to a to a of a guard, at least, you know, as when you say you struggle a little bit, maybe in the aspect myself, even as far as the regiment, you know, and the mm -hmm. structure. Uh, so maybe that's something, you know, you, you, you felt this, you know, felt the same in a little bit too. Like I said, one degree or another, but, uh, but I, I would say for me, that was, that was the case. I've always been regimented in a sense, uh, where I just had to have it like order and, you know, preparation and stuff like that. Uh, but when it's not like mandatory, I guess it's not mandatory for you to be here at a certain time. It's not mandatory, you know, for, for you lift, you know, work out, not man. So, so I had to get, um, re- Reacclimated in 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 that you know in that, that that regard. So, but uh, I had to get myself that you know that uh that order and that structure. You know because I mean I mean without it, you know you hear a lot of people in the military you know say say things similar when uh, when they get out you know and then and they, they kind of lose that like I said lose that structure and you know without I don't know you know I I think we're just wired. A lot of us just as human beings you know we're we're wired just to just to kind of have that you know have that have that structure in place. Uh, at, at least I know I am. 
Mm, indeed, indeed. You going, Ben? So now, jumping into kind of early on in your football career, you chose Hofstra. You know, now Hofstra doesn't have the program, but coming out of high school, why why was Hofstra, you know, the school that you chose? It was more like Hofstra chose me. Uh, you know, so I, I fancy, you know, in the, you know, we touched on the DMV, right? So in the DMV, especially Prince George's County, everybody fancies himself a hooper. So, you know, my, my, myself included. So, I, you know, I, I had hoop dreams, but I, I guess my height didn't catch up to my aspirations, if you will, uh, you, know, you know, with that. And so I had I focused on football going into my senior year. So I only, only did one year of varsity football. And, wow. um, you know, so I, with that, naturally kind of flew under the radar. And so, uh, you know, Hofstra, it, was, it wasn't really my only D. I had a few D2 offers. But, you know, you know, with D2, they give you partial scholarships, got to come out of pocket a little bit. I really didn't want my folks having to pay for school. So Hofstra was my um, only D1, all the, albeit D1 AA, only D1 offer, though. So I was like, hey, free education, um, no great school, no great school, you know, for academics and all that goes. So, you know, in terms of the focus was always, you know, uh, trying to, like I say, get that free education. So now after Hofstra going undrafted, what was it like, you know, when you first – I guess, what was the difference for you going from Hofstra college to then kind of making the adjustments to the NFL and the different practices and the schedules and stuff like that? Uh, well, the, big, the biggest adjustment was just the, uh, the speed. I, and, and that's when it comes to the speed of really the interior guys. Um, you know, because skill, skill, you know, skill position is skill. Skill is skill. No matter what level, whether, you know, it's, 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 it's uh, you know, powerhouses, you know, like your Alabamas, you know, your uh, LSUs, whatever the case may be. Or, you know, even your, uh, your mid-major teams, one double A team, D2 team, skill is skill. But I would say the difference is really, and, you know, LeBron can, uh, uh, can back me up here. It's really the, uh, the trenches. Like, you know, you got, like, the linemen, they're, they're athletes too now. They, you know, you got linemen pulling around. I'm not used to, you know, my first time, you know, we scrimmaging, uh, you know, full live scrimmage. You know, I, got, I got a tackle coming around, you know, pulling in. You know, he's running a, he's running a full six, four, seven. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> And so I, I would say the speed just of the uh, of the uh, the interior, you know, O line, D line, and also the, obviously the precision of the quarterbacks, the quarterback play too, because you know, as, you know, Hofstra, one double A technique, you know, you know, you could get away with some, you know, if you have the talent, you could get away with some, you know, some some issues or you know, or, or, or laziness, you know, even some you know some cases as far as your technique is concerned. So mm -hmm. you could still but still make a play. In the NFL, it don't it don't work like that. No, you yeah. have to really, yeah, really have to be like have to be a technician when it comes to your technique, and even more, me even more a student of the game than uh, than you were as far as uh, college ball went. You can go now, Lebron. Yeah, fact, fact, man. I know film study was a big thing in that league, man. Why so much film? Had so many. Uh, I remember when I started, they had the DVDs, you know. Then everything transitioned. You know, sent to the iPads and all that, mm -hmm. you know. Everything. But uh, I, I wanted to touch on, man. How, how was that? Can you go? Can you go over your year, your Super Bowl year, man? That you got the ring, man. How, how was that year for you? You know, just overall, just from training camp all the way through. Uh, you know, we felt that that was going to be a special year. Uh, that was a year we had. We we switched a lot of things up. We went from a um, kind of a you know we do what we do. You know, I love you know Lamar. You know, you got a lot of teams out there that's a game plan team. And the yep. teams out there that we're gonna do what we do and make teams game plan around us as far at least as far as defensive defense goes. So yep. that was the first time we really actually went to a game plan team in terms of matchups. And so we brought guys like Revis in, we brought Browner in, you know, he was coming from Seattle, you know, as far as that, you know, that culture, you know, we know what he you know what he what he yeah. would bring to the team as far as you know, physicality and you name it. So we felt, you know, we we had a lot of um, you know, pieces in place, especially defensively you know, in, uh, in, uh, in the backfield. To really, yeah, make a make a solid run at it, you know. And we always got TV twelve, you know, at, at the at the helm. Yeah, <laughs> that you uh you always got a good that. sense. Can't go wrong um, with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like I said, that that camp, uh, you know, during the season, you know, the play, just just going, you know, going through, uh, I guess all of it, you know, the whole gambit, off season training camp, uh, you know, the games throughout the season, uh, yeah, and then we were able to put a a good um good season together going into the postseason. So. That was a whole. I think that was the same year with the uh, with the Flake Gate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the whole year. With the the yeah. Flake Gate started. You know, the we had kind of, um, you know, we routed uh, Indy in the playoffs, and so. Uh, uh, but but, but Lebron, you you know as well as I do, all QBs have their preferences. It ain't yeah. like you yeah. know yeah. whether yeah. they want to sand the ball down a little bit, take a little yeah. PSI, you know, add a little PSI. Every every QB has it. It's just funny yeah. to me 
you know, uh, I guess the best way to equate it. Everybody's out there on the road speed. The speed limit might be 55. How many yeah. people you know are doing on the road going 55 miles an hour, though? I'm telling you, real yeah, talk. But, yeah, for talk. whatever reason, they they, they want to pull, you know, they want to pull New England, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was on y'all. They, I said the same thing. I said, man, I, I played, you know, playing with, like, Phillip Rivers, and, you know, I didn't see it as much with, uh, you know, Joe Flacco and everything, but when I got with, like, Phillip Rivers, like, he wanted his certain balls. He wanted them a certain way. You know, he'll throw, he'll throw with them, I think, like, that Friday practice, and he just say, put these up at the end of the day. Don't nobody touch them, so... I understand it for sure, man. They try, they try to take TV. <laughs> they try to take y'all under with that one, man. Real I mean, talk. He, 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 but even Spygate, you think about it, everybody was still, everybody's still, everybody's still everybody's Come on now. Yeah. That's, that, that's just the nature of the game. You know, if, if you got him out there, you know, for, for the world to see, I mean, shit, we're going to use it. I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, okay. but, but back to, you know, back to your point and uh, to, I guess your question about that season, man, and just that run. Uh, it was special, man. It was special. A um, little bittersweet for me as far as the Super Bowl is concerned. I, I guess what you would call a rough day at the office. I didn't, I didn't, you know, it wasn't a great game on, yeah. on, on my part. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's why it's a team sport. I know, uh, you know, uh, it was a, you know, solid, um, was solid running up, you know, to that point. Now, obviously, you want to go out there, and that's the that's that's the, what you play for. You know, that's the biggest stage that there is as far as this game. Really, any game is concerned in all major league sports is you know, as far as Super Bowl. Yeah. So uh, to not put on a, the greatest showing, and, and now it's a team, you know, it's a team sport. Don't get me wrong, we won. That's all that matters. But hey, LeBron, you know, we can play. Yeah, yeah, we can play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you not only want to win, you you want to have a, a, a huge, you know, be a huge pop. Yeah. Behind that win. So, yeah. Uh, but I mean, but it's all good, man. So uh, I'm just just uh, you know grateful for uh, you, know, you know great teammates, uh, you know, being able to pick up pick up my slack. And I got, you know, got it done, got it done that day. And forever, honestly, you know, forever immortalized amongst, you know, great company as far as Super Bowl champions go. Yeah, man, I know that, I know that was amazing, man. I didn't have a chance to play for one, but I'm almost an AFC championship, but I know that was a good, I know that was a great feeling. So, man, I, I don't uh, ask you, ask you a question. How was your time? I just know me, man, like, there's one thing I regret about my career is when it was free agent time, man, and I left Baltimore, man. And they said the grass ain't always green on the other side. I was like, man, I, I, if I could go back and do that over again, I'd try to stay in Baltimore my entire career. How, 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 was, how was it with Harbaugh, man, in, in, uh, in Baltimore, man? Uh, it's uh, interesting that you, know, you, you, you mentioned that because, you know, when I left New England and um, I had a few options, Baltimore being one of them, obviously. And so uh, when I, I chose Baltimore, <laughs> You know, so it was almost like every day Harbaugh's coming up to me, like, you know, it just kind of, kind of, kind of asking me, like, how does, you know, how does Bill do this? How does Bill do that? And yeah. you can see a lot of the things that he implements in his practices and, and just the way they go about things there is it's almost like the the grass is the same. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, yeah, no, I feel like the grass is the same. Matter of fact, the, uh, uh, I think my bit, the practice might be even a little, even a little tougher because think about Bill, yeah, he wants to not only make it tough on you uh, physically, but he also, also wants to make it tough on Daniel more, more, more mentally because yeah. he's, his whole mantra is, you know, mental toughness. And, and he does it in little degrees. Like if, if you're the offense, he might, you know, wet, wet the ball, you know, or might pour Vaseline all over the ball and, and dare you to fumble, you know, yeah. you know, dare you to mishandle the ball or, you know, you kick kicking out of practice. Um, you know, if you're, you're, you're hardball, I think everything was just physical. He wants to make, you know, make it tough on you physical, but he also wants to make it tough on you mentally. But, but, but he, all he knows is physical to, to push, you know, push through on the mental side of it because he was just physical, 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 you know, three hour practices and, you know, scorching heat, you know, even as far as training camp go. And he's like, that's his version of mental toughness. Just, you know, get through a three hour practice with, uh, um, but I mean, it was, it was a lot of similarities, but they had their, they had a you know, a few different ways of going, going about the same, I guess the same goal. Indeed. 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 Yeah. How about my guy, man, I enjoyed my time in time in Baltimore. I remember, uh, them training camp practice used to be rough. That's when we was going to the Westminster, but yeah, them things used to be rough, man. How about them play about them practices, man? He took that seat. Did you, did you do the, um, conditioning test? Bruh, is it the same one with the, uh, with the shuttles? Bro, oh my bro. god, <laughs> hey, bro, the, the, PA, the PA need to look into that. I'm just saying, the PA might want to look at it, bro. Hey, hey, that that is just that's that's wild. That's wild. Bro, that was the that's cruel, that's cruel and unusual. Man. That's cruel and unusual, right there. In my in my book, 
Man, and it, it and it's not like it's not like that. Why I was I was trying to explain uh because I coach high school ball now, so trying to explain them guys. I said, man, if y'all would have did this test, man, like that's that's probably the only test I know. You know what I'm saying? You better be mentally prepared. You better be physically prepared. Like, no matter if you're in shape or not, like, you go be winded a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Running that thing. Especially the right. skill group, especially DB group. Y'all time. I don't know how y'all was doing. I know I had 30. Yeah, I had like Man, 27. Was, what was we at? Yeah, like 27, 26, something like that. Yeah. It was at 300 yard shuttles, 50 yard, yeah, 50 yards at a time, uh, 20, about 26, 27 seconds. It was, it was what, six of them? Yeah, yeah, to yep. do. Yep, six of them. We had to make all, all right. six. <laughs> Bruh, that hey hey when I tell you I, I I on the last one I had to like do a like super I had to dive in on the last one and yeah. I, I I had to throw my legs up they had to throw pull water on me and I was I was I was floating in out of consciousness. Yeah, uh, nah, crazy, yeah. That jump was crazy, man. Was I'm, funny. I'm, 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 uh, he did not play. He did not play about that test, man. When training camp nah. came, he said, nah, That's Webb, the Webb, I was about to say what's funny was Webb couldn't get you know you know you know uh, your boy. We all love our boy Ladarius Webb, man. I do yeah. nothing but just jokes all day, man. He's such a clown, so he could not get himself when I felt it's like maybe week two of training camp. He kept failing. He kept every day. He failed that test. Yeah, put you on PUP. That's why I started my 2008, 2008. They put me on PUP. I, I was on the, I was on the uh, last one, and like, shoot, he was calling thirty when I was just touching the line coming back. I was like, Lord, have mercy. I'm talking about put me on PUP. You got to run the whole time, then got to go run it again. How about how was tough, boy? <laughs> he didn't. He ain't play no games. He ain't play no games about that. How you go, <laughs> Uh Jumping back to more of um when you were in New England. Like, you kind of touched on a little bit. What was it really like playing for Belichick? Because, like, you know, everybody sees, you know, the stern, like, kind of hard man, never changes the face, just always looks angry. What was it like, you know, actually being at practice with him every day and being in meetings? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but, but, but these things about Bill that you can appreciate if you look at it like this, what you see is what you get. Uh, Bill is like – it's, it's, it's football, 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 foot, football, and a little bit of history. And outside of that, nothing else matters. You know, Bill, Bill's a history buff. So every now and then in a team meeting, he'll be like, anybody, he'll ask a rookie, anybody know what today is, what the day symbolizes. It could be like Memorial Day or Veterans Day, D-Day, something like that. You know, but Bill's a huge history buff. So every now and then, and that's his, be his version of, um, uh, uh, I guess, lightning the mood. You know, he's trying to crack a little joke here and there, and you really got to, like, relish it that moment because you don't get many of them. So when he, when he does crack a joke, but he's all about, man, it's all about, like I said, football, all about whatever, you know, whatever it is, whether it's off season right now, what, you know, what, what, what the goal is uh, in that regard, whether it's training camp, you know, trying to get better focus on, you know, um, technique focus, you know, you know, a certain, uh, during the season, you know, it's all about, you know, who, whoever that opponent is. So Bill would say, he will always start each training camp off in a team meeting and say, look, I got a drawer. Anything comes up, I put it in that drawer. Uh, if it's a parking ticket, I don't care if it's jury duty. I don't give. I don't, he's, I don't give a damn what it is. Put it in that drawer, and then you know, on a bye week, you can get to it. And then after that, I, and you know, when the season is, you get to it. Right now, yeah. it's all about football. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, a guy won what six championships. So, I mean, what what can you tell a guy at that point with six championships? I mean, I guess the proof is in the pudding. Yep. Facts. Facts. Yeah, fully agree. Um, but to now, like. Everybody, you know, knows Brady. Like, you, you don't even have to watch football to know Brady. You got to face him every day at practice and, and stuff like that. Like, what, what was that like being on that defensive side of the ball, going against a guy who is so successful and has all that talent? Like, do you, do you have any stories about, you know, your practice time with him and what was it like facing him every day? Uh, Tom, man, I mean, he is the, he's the ultimate. This dude is, 40, what, is 40, what time is 45 years old now? Yeah, fine. Yep. Still at the top of his game, man. That is wild. I mean, you were, you know, you think about it, man. Um, people won't really appreciate his greatness until he's until he's done. Honestly, you know, I mean, but that's that's the case with a lot of people. That was the case with Jordan. That's probably going to be the case with LeBron. Uh, you know, Kobe, everybody. So, so, but to actually be, you know, to experience that for seven years, you know, just just to see um that work ethic, uh, the humility. You know, a lot of people, you know, people always people come up to me, and the reason why they don't like Tom. I mean, everybody. I mean, he wins a lot, don't get me wrong. And that's probably one of them. But another reason people will say is because he, he seems arrogant. I would, I would look at him like, no, no, Tom, one of the most, you know, humble and and, and personable teammates that I you know, I know, you know. So think about it. But Tom, think about Tom, I understand he's also a competitor. Like yeah, a yeah. fiery, when I say com not just a competitor, a fiery competitor. I mean, if Tom is losing at Uno, he's going to cut somebody out. 
<laughs> you know, it don't matter. Tom don't like so uh, uh quick quick Tom story. So it's uh I think it's the year, I think before Rivas and uh Brown and guys. So we had it was myself to I think the year we had a uh, key. A key was on the team then still. So um playoffs, I think we got Denver. Yeah, we had Denver coming up, and I think we ultimately ended up losing to Denver that game, but uh, we had Denver in the playoffs. And Bill is like, I don't want to see nobody on your phone. Like, like this is how serious Bill you know, we want us to take it this week. Nobody even on your phone during a team break. You know, you get away with your five little minute break, whatever the case may be. Do yeah. individual meetings. I want to see you on your phone. I want to see you on your iPads. Everything, you know. So uh, all that. And um, so we come up with this game to kill time during, uh, you know, the DBs. You know, we got to be like, you know, if you if you're, the football team is a family. You know, we got to be, you know, we got to be that child. That, you know, you can't, you gotta, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how. The, <laughs> how the DBs were, you know what I'm saying? We got to be that chat to kind of go against the grain a little bit. And, and so we came up with this game called trash get ball. So, um, uh, so we would take the garbage, the garbage, the garbage bags out of the trash cans. We would bring like in a little, um, softball that you use for plotters, whatever you just shoot at it, you know, shoot at the, shoot at the goals, opposite goals or whatever. And so Tom comes in there and, and you can see the expression on his face. Like I just said, we're, 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 we got like maybe 10 minutes, um, break. Yeah. Between, yeah, between, I mean, Tom comes in and see us, I guess he's on break too. And you can see he loses his shit. <laughs> Tom comes in there like a parent, you know, they're like a dad, like, like, I know that, I know the hell, you know, y'all, 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 y'all like doing what I tell you, because I'm a parent, I'm, I'm, you got kids, right? Yep, I yep, 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 I, I don't know yep. you do, Ben, but yeah, yeah, so no, you say the kids do something, you come in there, you know, you come in that room or wherever they are, and they, they doing it, the opposite of what you told them to do, Man. now look on Tom's face, so, <laughs> so Tom come and grab, come and grab the ball, and he um, uh, opens the door, who are, our tunnels like adjacent to the locker room, he kicks that ball so far down the tunnel, cusses everybody out. Uh, you know, cusses out everybody out as far as the DB goes out. And um, what was funny is that that same ball made its way back the next morning, though, into uh, I think it might have been um, like a, a, a Marquise Cole lock or somebody. But uh, no, I don't know. That was just a quick, quick, a quick, funny time story, man. Uh, like I tell you, Tom's a competitor. <laughs> That's so, dope. He, he, he had that. I mean, but then you got the other kid who you know who kind of like enforces, you know, the parents, the parents rule. That's Tom. So it's so, <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, uh, like another like another coach around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> just looking back, yeah, that, that was a, a you know funny, funny. So I, I that was the first time I ever seen Tom like that out of pocket though. Like oh, yeah, right. I tell you, Tom was cuss, cussing us out. <laughs> I mean, it's Tom though. You know, you know, ain't nobody was gonna cut. You know, if you, if you know, if, 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 if you know a key ain't say nothing back, LeBron. Yeah. If you know a key ain't say nothing back, then yeah, you know, you know, hey, hey, yeah, you let, you, let, let Tom do his thing. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> you can go, LeBron. I mean, yeah, I know, I know we gotta get you off here in a minute, man. I, I just wanna uh it's like a two-part question. When you played, man, who was your who was your top five receivers that you went against when uh why you played, man? Good question. Oh, uh, well, I played so top five, like toughest covers. Yeah, toughest covers, yeah. Like that, you know, you going into the week, you're like, all right, man, I know I gotta hunker down and uh, do my thing with this, this guy. You know, no, it's it's professional football, man. So so respectfully, man. I mean, eh, you know, uh, it ain't like you know, we got a day off. You know, yeah. any week. So uh, it was, it was. I mean, from Megatron to uh, AB to uh, I, I would say in this to this degree, Mike Wallace, because I mean, obviously, you know, Mike, that's my that's my that's my boy. You know, he came to Baltimore. Where I was there as well, man. That's my man. Um, yeah. You know, you know, we, you know all, we, everybody know Mike wasn't a technician when it comes to like route running, anything like that. But as far as speed, like before speed. there was Tyreek Hill, before yes, there was speed, it was Mike Wallace. Like, you know, Mike stop, stop and start go was like none, none other I've seen up to that point. And so when he went to Miami, um, you know, I was in New England, he came to Miami, you know, I had to see that twice a year. I was like, man, bro, <laughs> you just knew it was going to be a track meet. Uh, yeah. So let, let, let me, let me, uh, uh, Fitzgerald, I mean, Larry, you know, obviously Larry, as far as okay. everybody know his resume. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying, I'm just trying, I'm trying to think of names who was like underrated, you know, as far as underrated, uh, tough covers. Um, Steve, Stevie Johnson from Buffalo had to see him twice a year. So Steve. what's underrated about him is just just his his fluidity, you know, coming off the line of scrimmage because um, it was a, you know it, it was games where you know Bill was like, man, we pressing, we pressing all game. Like he like under you know low key, you know, it's like, like play basketball out there on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It was you know, like um, 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 you know the, these receivers now, you know, it was like Stevie. You you go back and look at some Stevie Johnson, um, you know, mixtape. Stevie Johnson mixtape coming off that line of scrimmage. Yeah. Uh, Aquan Bowden is another. I, I don't think I'm past five now, but uh, Doug Baldwin from Seattle. He was another one who also has, has some moves, you know, when it came to the line of scrimmage and just rock running yeah. as well. So 
I always thought Doug, I always thought Doug I always thought Doug was good, man. People, he was like under the radar a lot. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah. him being like, uh, you know what I'm saying, with the team he was with, but I always thought we had the same age. So I always, I always thought Doug, Doug was a beast, man. Real that talk. Was nice. That was nice. That's what I'm just trying to think of a lot of names who people may not, you know, may, may, may not uh come first off the tongue. But uh, there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of tough covers out there, man. Everybody kind of had, uh, everybody brought something different you know, to the position a little bit where they were uh, most, I guess, most effective at. Indeed. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And then the, sec and then the sec second part, man, I was just going to say, I know I know you're watching the game, watching the uh, football now. Who are your top five, you know what I'm saying, corners right now playing in the league? Mm -hmm. Right now. Like, yeah, oh, God. Okay. Some, some lot of, some lot, a lot of young talent out there, honestly. Yeah. Um, I like I saw my kid with the kid. I actually he he I don't he, I won't say top five, but just just to mention him because I watched a little bit of it, well a lot of bit of the game uh, yesterday versus um, who was that the Cardinals and the and the uh, the Raiders. Raiders, yeah. So so to see what the young kid was able to do against um, uh, uh, Deontay Adams, who was it? Who's yeah. on, uh, uh, the young kid from was that the kid from LSU? Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Yeah, Murphy. Yeah, I, 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 I like his game. I like his game. Uh, I'm just actually just throwing it out there because I, you know, just uh, the most fresh in my mind from just from what I, you know, watched, I was watching the complete game yesterday. I, I like Diggs. I like Diggs. I think he he gets a lot of um, he gets a lot of credit because you know you get it, you know you get the interception. You always gonna get the credit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know he gives him some play, but but thing about it is that's that kind of like that Asante Samuel uh, factor. You know, Asante gonna go out and get some picks. You know, yeah. when he was playing, he gonna give up some stuff too. But it's yeah. always like you know, it's feast of famine, I guess. So, uh, but hey, but uh, if you a DB, I respect. Uh, I can't. Uh, you always gotta respect if you play DB, especially a corner man. You know, you you out there, you you taking it, you taking chance. You gotta take your chances. Yeah. Um. I mean, Ramsey. I you know Ramsey. A lot of people might say he's overrated, but I I, I like him, especially when I saw yesterday from uh, you know went out there had a rough week one, yeah. and then he could have gone to bounce back and have the game. You know, steal and pick. Uh, yeah. the way yesterday, so gotta gotta respect that. Uh I mean, so who uh, who who else is out there? I mean, it's a lot. Like I said, a lot lot of young talent, honestly. Um. And who who's what's my kid from? Uh, I'm 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 forgetting I'm forgetting the team I'm forgetting the team. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no nah, man, yeah, but a lot. You got you got you got you got you got you got you like Lattimore from uh, New Orleans. Yeah, La Lattimore is he's another one. He's another one. He's uh, Lattimore is I like his game from um from a scrappy perspective. Yeah. You know, Lattimore. If you know, if you look at him, he's not. He's not uh, uh, a tech. I don't, maybe I would call. It, I guess a tech. He's not. He's no like. You know, I say like Revis. As far as like man, Re what separated Revis from the rest of them, he was just straight cerebral. Uh, yeah. You know, you know this, but it's far few in between corners is like that out there now. But I say, well, uh, but but Lattimore, like he has great uh, confidence. One had to be one got to be confident. You know, to be out there. But but he has that. You know, he has that. You know, tenfold. And I, I, I like, but I like his scrappiness that uh, that he has out there too. I know he kind of got into it with uh, with Mike Evans the other day, but I mean, yeah. that's you know, that's come. You almost got that kind of a key, a key, you know, a key in him a little bit. You got that, got to have that dog in you. I'll tell you at, uh, at that position. So I do, I, I do like Lattimore. Um, about to say, yeah, man, 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 who else out there, man? Who you like? Who you like? Man, who, man, like you got. Uh, well, I know he ain't played yet. Did you? I know you got White from uh from Buffalo. Yeah, I like hey, like no, no yeah, I like matter of fact, I like JC. You know, you know, New England guy. Yeah. I know he's in uh, yeah. San Diego now. Yeah. Uh, I gotta yeah. like JC. Oh, he played for yeah. Maryland too, so you know, I gotta yeah. like him yeah. more now. I like, I like more. I like more. I like Marlon too, man. I like, I like Hump. Bro. I like Hump, man. You know, I know he's from Belmont and everything. Road tie, but I like, I like Marlon too. I like more Marlon, little scrappy, little scrappy guy too. That crazy number he got, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got, got to be low. Got to be scrappy. Got to be low. If, if you, you know, the way he dressed, so you got, you got to have that. You know, you know. So now nah, I'm not messing with you. I'm messing with him though. Right? <laughs> so he, he a little eccentric on and off the field. Let me stop. I'm telling for real talk though. Real talk. Very, very different, man. Very different. I remember, I remember his dad used to come when I was in the ninth grade. His dad used to come over to uh, our school and everything, and like, and like teachers and everything. I think that was about right around the time when, when uh, like he was born. He was like, man, he, he was telling us then, like, uh, like how good his son was gonna be, but. In high school down here in Alabama, bro, a legend down here in, the, in Alabama. High school and college, so. Yeah, was, uh, <laughs> I can't cool. also forget about my man um, uh, Howard from uh, you know from the fans. Yep. I like yeah, like I like I like Howard, I like him, I like him as well, I like his game. Uh, yeah, man. So I, you know, it's it's, it's and, and hats off to uh, you know all the all the folks who be mentioned because you know they 
you know as well as I do, they make it. It's, it's the offensive league now, so they they, yeah. they don't get no. It's not getting any easier year year round and year out. You know, if you play, especially playing that corner position, you know, so just, you know, just, the way, just the way the groove changes is uh, where everything is taking taking uh, shape and form. I'm telling you, that one position I, I respect on that field, man. That corner, I said, man, you got to leave a guy on the alley on the what the guy running. You got to watch this, watch that. You know what I'm saying? So I salute that, especially the guys like I, I played played with Samar Rowe. So playing with guys like that, Chris McAllister, playing with them guys when I was with the Ravens, like utmost respect for them. And they were coming, they were coming up in Hinky too. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's too. Oh, yeah. that's even a plus though. You could bring that to the table as well. Some physicality uh, at that position. Mm-hmm. Indeed, like, indeed. Yes, sir. You gonna be. So just a few more questions for me. Um, you know, you just kind of talked about it with Diggs a little bit with the interceptions in 2011. You had were tied for the most interceptions with guys like Eric Weddle and Charles Woodson, two of the great games greats. Um, you know, what was that season like for you? And how did I guess how did that season kind of blow up for you in that way with mm-hmm. going up there and having you know the tied for the most interceptions in the league? Oh, first word to come. Uh, unexpected. You know, I mean. It's, and it's funny you hear an athlete like that say that. Um, yeah. like, and we just talked about playing corner. You got to be confident. So already yeah. you got to think yourself, I'm trying to go in with 10 picks every year. You know, it's one, it's one thing to say that, but for them, uh, for it to happen the way it did. And, and at one thing, playing corner, playing DB, especially one thing we say to ourselves or we, we say amongst ourselves is that they come in bunches. And so yeah. when, when they, you know, we came in bunch, I think it had like two versus Miami, had two versus uh, – uh, Kansas City, I think it was a Monday night game too as well. So it, it ended up having really had eight. They robbed me. I should have had. I should have been the sole leader. Buffalo <laughs> last game of the season had a uh, had, had a pick. You know, nice pick on the sideline too. You know, it's kind of like the, the wide receiver had to have late hands. Put my hand right there. Oh, and tipped it to myself, man, bro. That was that. That'd have been something to see. So Devin you know, McCourty comes and, and smacked the receiver. And so at that time, the rule change was still. Well, it, it, they didn't implement the rule change, but the rule was if you hit a, I guess, quote unquote, defensive receiver, which was, it was BS, by the way. Devin used to show that he went defenseless. Um, uh, that that the, the offense gets the ball back. So, but now the rule is if you secure possession, that the, uh, you know, it's a turnover, but you, know, you still can't, but you can't advance it, I guess, at that point, if you know, if it's, uh, you still get the penalty. So, uh, so I said, I say, I really had eight, <laughs> but, uh, but just, but to be in that company, uh, like, like you just mentioned, you know, guys like, uh, you know, Ar- Weddle, arguably a hall of famer, um, you know, Woodson, you know, no doubt, you know, undoubtedly a hall of famer just to be right. in that, you know, that, that company, uh, that year is something, um, it's something, it's something special. And that whole year was special because we went to my, my first Super Bowl that year, I went to Indy, uh, um, you know, and then we were, we had dedicated that season to, um, Myra Kraft, you know, that uh, Robert Kraft's wife had passed right yeah. before as well. So uh, uh, we had the MHK on that, you know, patch, you know, um, you know that, that that season too. So it was it was just a special year, special ride. And and, and just like I said, not only individually, but just as a team, um, you know, just just enjoy that 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 whole ride. And we came up short at the end, those pesky uh, giants, you know, yeah. I was just about yeah. to ask, like, like you talked about short winning, at the end. you talked about winning the Super Bowl, like, and, and you know how cool that was, you know, you said, you know, which played a little bit better or whatever, but losing the Super Bowl on the other side, like, and that was, you lost the first one and then won the second one, right? Correct. Yeah. So what was it like, you know, finally making it, getting there, you know, under the big lights and then you guys falling just short? Like, h- how tough was that for you? Uh, It was a tough, tough pill to swallow. Um, I mean, I, I, I guess at that point, the best way that I, I could put it is, uh, um, you know, the, the, you know, Cinderella, just to sit, at least for me, you know, personally, just Cinderella, you know, that, that, that glass slipper or that, uh, mm-hmm. that, that clock, the clock struck midnight, you know, so kind of, you know, brought, brought it all to, uh, uh, you know, to an end, but, you know, like I said, just to you know, go on that ride that we had, you know, individually and then um, just, you know, as a team and then come up short like that. And it, and it's just, oh, it just happened to be just a miraculous catch, you know, when it comes to uh, uh, Eli and those giants, you know, David Tyree, oh, yeah. I remember 2007 made a crazy catch. Manahan made a crazy toe tap on the sideline that, you know, I don't know how he ho- held on to that ball. You know, Chung laid a pretty good wallop on him. So, I, you know, but, hey, uh, one thing I, I will always say, you know, whatever, whatever's meant to be will be. And so uh, I guess that's just the way that um, the story had to be told, you know, in uh, 2000, 2011. So my, my final question, um, you know, you kind of talked about toughest receivers to face. Was there an environment like a stadium or um, fan base like where – Every every time you guys played there and played them, it was like, oh, it's gonna be a tough one. The fans are crazy. It's packed. Was there was there a stadium that was the toughest environment for you? 
Mm, so I I would say uh, within I mean within our conference, we already knew you know it was going to be but one it's New England, it's Tom Brady, it's a target on your back. They're gonna show up. You know they're yeah. gonna show up and, and and be you know be uh, be in your ear. But as far as environments in general go, ah, uh, KC is electric. You know I think we played Kansas City on a Monday night on a Monday night game. It was a Monday or Sunday night game. That was electric. Um, anytime you go to Seattle, you know, and that's when they had, you know, the, the whole Legion of Boom and everything yeah. was in full effect. Uh, you know, the toy that I know called himself the 12th man. So uh, that, that, yeah, that, that was a crazy environment. And uh, let me see what else. Um, who has a nice stadium? I mean, Dallas, you know, Dallas has a nice stadium as well. Um, it's, I think, you know, it's made more for enter entertainment than, uh, yeah. you know, than, than, than I, you know, than yeah. I think as far as like, you know, uh, distracting the opposing team. <laughs> But uh, and I mean, like I said, I had the opportunity to play in a lot, a lot, a lot of good environments. Uh, that's my last one, Lebron. If you got any more, you can go. Man, I, I just want to say, I mean, not even a question, man. Just you know, saying before we get off it, man, I just want to, you know, saying from a player to player, bro, I just want to salute you, man, on your career and everything that you did on the field, man. The, the hours you spent, man, on the gridiron. I, I'm passionate about football. That's why I be telling my guys now in high school. But just you know, saying the way that you came into the league, bro. And, 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 and competed and, you know what I'm saying, did your thing, got you a ring, you know what I'm saying, the way that you competed with guys and, you know what I'm saying, one of the top corners in, in our game, you know what I'm saying, while you played, man. I just want to give you a salute, you know what I'm saying, for, for me, I know from Ben, man, for my podcast and everything, and just appreciate you even coming on with us, man, talking to us, you know what I'm saying, sharing your stories and, you know what I'm saying, everything you went through, man. I really do appreciate it. Real talk from the bottom of my heart, appreciate it. Man, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate both of y'all, and, and, and uh, much respect, hey, from um, a one uh, – you know, one one brother to another, bro. Hey, we all, you already know, we already know, man. So much respect to you, you and your career. Congratulations on a hell of a career yourself, man. Like I said, it ain't it ain't, it ain't for the week. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Tell tell that one I'm trying to apply, apply, apply my guys right now. These high school guys, man. Just like I said, y'all in high school now, man. They just always ask me about the league. I said, man, I really like enjoy the process a lot. I be trying to tell them high school was fun, college was fun. When you get to the NFL, man, it's it's, it's, it's really time to go. You know what I'm saying? Week in, week out. It's a business. And it's a business. Yeah, tell you, it's a business. 365, man. 365, 24-7, 365, for sure, for sure. And, and I guess the last thing I, I say, if I let y'all go, is that uh best thing I guess I enjoy, honestly, about it, I mean, just the, the minus, the, you know, outside of the individual, you know, well, one is not even really supposed to be about the individual, but outside of, you know, whatever, you know, going out there and uh, competing your ass off, not only going out there, you're competing your ass off, being able to go out there and compete your ass off with your brothers. Yeah. I think I think that's the uh, that's the best part about it, you know, because it's a special form, such a bond that 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 is created because it's almost similar to, uh, I guess you hear when people in the military say, you know, the one thing they miss about, you know, the, the, the most, the best thing, what, what they miss about it the most is, you know, the, the camaraderie, their brothers. You know, so uh, I, I say I, I probably, uh, you know, my 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 body, these bones, you know, would be the first thing to tell you. No, nah, we will not miss nothing. We will not miss nothing. But uh, but but as far as the like I said, man, just the, uh, the, the the brotherhood about it, you know, uh, uh, the camaraderie, you know, about it all, like going through a special um, something special that that not a huge population or huge percentage of, of the world can relate to. You know, that you you, you yeah. go through that with, you know, with the with the only certain small group of guys. Go through that, so that makes kind of that makes that connection and that bond just that much stronger. So I think that that'd be the best. Uh, maybe like I said, I just wanted to throw that out there when anybody asked me, you know, what's what's the, uh, the, uh, the most you miss, the best thing you miss about it, it would it would be that. Yeah, D, I'm I'm the same I'm the same way, man. The same way, just that that locker room feel, man. Just I even I even just enjoyed just getting on the plane ride to a different city. You know what I'm saying? Coming out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being the team and they being the team on the road, man, and, and get back on that that flight going back home, man. Just, just them little things, little things. I was just telling my guy, man, take advantage of every day you got, man. Every day you got, man. Real talk. Absolutely. I had this one, this one teammate, uh, shout out James Sanders, you know, play safety. Uh, no, great, great player, even better person, man. James said, play, play safety for us. He's like a quarterback on the field, man, you know, my time, my tenure there for the first few years. But yeah. I would look at him, you know, especially like, in, like getting closer to the, uh, uh, to the end of the week, you know, for the game time. Thursday, Friday, practice, it don't matter. Bill gonna run us. So it's it's on you to get your body right for Sunday. <laughs> so 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 Jay, I would look over at Jay's, he'd be just be like, man, come on, come on, body. Come on, body. <laughs> and I just look at him, I would look at him, but it, it would give me life because I'd be like, okay, I'm not the only one feeling this way then. All right, dude, yeah. That, yeah. So uh no, nah, that's what's up though. But once again, fellas, man, appreciate y'all having me on, man. But yeah, got gotta do it again sometime soon. Man, yeah, I got you, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Thank you.
in the Man, the, like like LeRon said, um, it really means a lot. And congrats to you on a great career. Like you just don't see guys go on draft and have a career like you did. Just kind of work work your way up and and just be as good as you were. So uh, huge congrats to you on a great career. And it really means a lot. You taking the time out of your day. You know, sorry we had some uh, kind of bumps to try to get you on and trying to get you on a certain day, but it, it was really awesome. I really enjoyed the interview and it meant a lot for you to come on and talk with us for 45 minutes and just kind of give some cool insight that a lot of people don't know. You know, the Tom Brady story was awesome and stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. Oh no, come on, man. You know, it's what we do. Thank you guys. Yeah, man. All right, man. Enjoy your afternoon, man. Be blessed, baby. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah. You do the same, man. So and shout out salute, man. What you doing for them kids, bro, man. That, hey, that's, that's everything. That's everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.